What's going on guys? We are in Studioopolis zone after beating Chemical Plant. Um, we had a tough time in that last episode. We had a little bit of a tough time. If you guys haven't seen it, go check it out. It was, um, it was a doozy. A bunch of deaths, a, uh, a bunch of deaths, and then some shenanigans right towards the end, which I still don't quite understand. But we're diving right in here to Studioopolis, which does remind me a little bit of Carnival Night Zone. Uh, because of these bumpers, uh, the little, like, those little bumper things, the kind of theme that we have going here, the color scheme. It's really cool. I really like this zone. And living in Los Angeles, I feel it, man. I feel it. I feel the studio Studioopolis. I'm living there. I am living there. Um, and I thought I was just, I thought I just died. <laughs> I thought I just died right there. But we're good. A lot of bumpers, a lot of, a lot of ring action. But this is going to be one of the first, I think, longer feeling stages. Except for Chemical Plant Zone, because your boy can't do no good there. These little camera bugs. These camera bugs get me every time, guys. Camera bugs get me every time. I don't even see them, they just blend into the background. Another issue with this game, a lot of enemies just like show up, blending into the background. It's hard to tell. I'm gonna get this checkpoint. I'm gonna get this checkpoint because I already know what's been happening in this LP. What's gonna be happening in this LP, so. Being a little extra careful now, which is nice. I like these things too, they kind of, some people might think they like stop the momentum a little bit, and maybe, but I also like taking a breather every once in a while, you know, just kind of sitting and enjoying the view. It's beautiful, beautiful background. Oh, right into that. Beautiful backgrounds, like all this artwork and just the themes and everything, these, these little details that they put in the game are so sick. I love it. Like, you, you can tell that they put a lot of love in this game. That's cliché. Everyone talks about that. Oh yeah! <laughs> Excuse me. Um, hopefully I remove that in the edit. Hopefully I remember to remove that sneeze in the edit. Uh, I'm just allergic to clichés. But... These guys put a lot of love in this, into this map, and into all the new maps, and honestly even into the rehash maps. Uh, I just love the detail that they have here, and the little like, pieces of the map that you can just discover. You know, discover every time you play this. I, could, I might be playing this like the 20th time through, and I'm still like discovering- I mean, in, in our first episode I discovered a whole new place. A whole new place! Um, when we got that bonus. When we got that bonus ring. Which we ha I don't- we did get one in Chemical Plant, I think, but... I want to keep getting uh, more of those Chaos Emeralds so we can show some Super Sonic before finishing this LP. Oh, shoot. But... Alright, I'm just gonna have to redo this. I have to go back. That's okay. BAM! Alright, we're just gonna chill here. No need to waste any time. No need to waste any time. Haste makes waste, guys. Haste makes waste. Learned that back in second grade when I had to write a story about it. Good old second grade. Okay. This is also gonna be like kind of quieter for a couple moments here because I do want you guys to appreciate the music a little bit. Appreciate it! Appreciate the music! Good. Good. I see all of you not appreciating. I see you guys. You know who you are and I know who you are. Oh boy! Okay, there we go. And here's our first boss! Four minutes in, four minutes into the map, into the zone. That's a pretty cool boss. Uh, there's a lot going on in the sprites over there. A lot going on, and I didn't even know what was happening until I was playing a Super Sonic and didn't even need to look at it. Um, but, yeah, you can see one of the badniks kind of shooting out these missiles with three other badniks? Uh, flying around with these clubs in their hands, they're just like, they're ready, to, they're ready to give me a beating. Ready to whoop, whoop some Sonic. But this dude just like chilling next to the helicopter, he's not even sitting in it, he's just like hanging off the thing. That's pretty, that's pretty baller. That's pretty baller, I can, I can respect that. I can respect that, I'm gonna have zero range, so that's nice. No! Ho -ho! Oh, 
Alright. Let's do it right this time. Let's, let's do it right this time. Let's do it right. I only have one life. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, Tails. Tails coming in clutch. Yes. Oh, my boy Tails. My boy Tails. Man, that's why I bring you. That's why I bring you to all my adventures. Look at that. Look at that determination he has when he's flying. When he just had his... Okay. Okay, careful. Careful! Oh, he got hit. That's okay. Take the hit for me, Tails! Take the hit! <laughs> I believe in you! That's two. That's two down. We have one more of these guys to kill. And then I think... I think it's two more missiles, so we get... We have this one. There we go. No. Okay. So we have that one, and then uh, I think we have one more after this. I think we have Uno Mas, and then we should be on to Act Dos. Act 2 also has a pretty cool boss. I definitely like the stylization of, of, this, of, the, second, of the Act 2 boss here. Uh, okay. Okay, we should be good on this one. We should be good on this one. There we go! There we go! And that guy just makes it out right in time, just bails on the helicopter. What happened to going down with the ship, man? What happened to going down with the ship? No honor. These bad nicks have no honor. Bring shame to the family! 5 minutes 30, not bad. Not bad. Excuse me. Look at that! Look at that giant screen, man! That's so sick! That is so cool! This just makes you feel like you're a part of something huge, man. Okay, totally missed those rings, that's okay. We got- we got more where those came from. Got a lot of these, uh... A lot of these little, like, bouncy bumper things. I get, I think those are also in, uh... Those are also in, uh, what was it? Casino Night Zone? For sure. So is this. This is 100%, like, the roulette kind of thing. Look at that, reskin, reskin. Just taking inspiration. You guys are oh no, I'm gonna lose, I'm gonna lose all my rings. I'm gonna lose all my rings. Great. Great. Uh, it definitely reminds me of every time I go to Vegas. Moment of silence for all my IRL rings. All my IRL rings. Anyways. I do like this little like electricity. Oh wow! I did not know I was on the light fixture right there. I did not know I was walking on something. I'm walking on sunshine. All right. Man, I am bulk recording this. So if you guys have noticed all this scruff and this T-shirt, I don't just wear the same T-shirt every day. Okay? I don't. I promise. I promise you guys. Ladies, I'm a clean man. Problem is, I have work every single day. Every single day of every single week. So this is pretty much the only time on weekends I get a chance to record and my roommates are out doing a little bit of shopping. So they can, uh, they can enjoy their time while I enjoy mine. While I enjoy mine playing this lovely, lovely game with all of you. Let's see if we can not actually beat one of these, uh, blue ball stages. Whoops. Whoops! I need to stop saying that. Immediate jinx. Immediate jinx. Is this the right word? I think it's the right word. BAM! It's funny because whenever I play through my original save file here where I do have Supersonic, um, as mentioned a little while ago, uh, you can turn into Supersonic as long as you have 50 rings, and it counts down those rings every second you're playing as Supersonic. So you can keep collecting rings, keep extending the time. But whenever I play these games, these, these zones in my normal save file, I just turn into Supersonic like one fourth of the way through the map, and then the rest of it is a cakewalk. A literal cakewalk. What am I doing? What am I doing? What are you doing, time zone? There we go. There we go. Look at that. That feels good. That feels real nice. 
Oh no, I wanted to keep going. I wanted to keep going. Yeah, this thing definitely punishes you if you're like in the middle or high, like middle or high roads. Uh, it knocks you out. It knocks you out as soon as possible to keep you from staying way up there. 71 rooms. Okay, we're in, we're in pretty decent shape. And here is the boss for this. Two, two, 250, like that was a quick, that was a quick thing. I totally, I don't think I've ever tried to beat him this point of tail. Okay, so this is the heat lamps. I gotta avoid all the heat. You see the little, like, bright light looking things? I didn't notice that the first time I played. Okay, and now we have... Oh, the lightning. Wow. As mentioned, I have not played this in a while, so... There's a few things I will not remember. So you're not supposed to actually hit him with tails. You're supposed to grab onto these. And then, uh, hit him as soon as he comes, like, in that direction, which I totally missed. So I'll just let Tails do all the work, as usual. I'm the, uh, I'm the manager and Tails is my analyst. So, that's just how it is, boys. There we go. There we go! My boy, Tails. Another, another zone down. Studiopolis, I love that one. I thought that was really sick. In any case, um, we're about to, you can see on the TV, you can see on the TV what we're doing! We're jumping on a gigantic airship. As some might call it, a flying battery. In any case, that's all for this episode. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, please comment, subscribe for more of this, and uh, let me know your thoughts. Let me throw your thoughts on the series. We're about, we're, I think, three, three episodes in at this point. Um, so, let me know your thoughts. And uh, until then, I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Bye.